think it's a very realistic possibility that either by accident or on purpose, the internet will break. Maybe not every part of it, but enough of it that it will cause real chaos. The problem is right now, we don't actually even know the consequences of that because more and more we're using the internet in different things. So, for instance, uh, the internet broke here in the United States recently and we had to ground all the planes because actually just one little part of it in Salt Lake City broke. And it turned out that the way that we routed planes was dependent on that part of the internet working. So we don't know those dependencies. Uh, so I actually think what we need to do is we we need to build a backup system that's based on completely different technology that we keep very carefully separate from the internet. So at least when it breaks, we can contact each other and fix it. And emergency services, you know, the police department still needs to be able to call the fire department and so on. And um, I think it's a very doable task, but it requires somebody sort of stepping back and saying, the internet and the way that we depend on it has become incomprehensible. We need to build a smaller, comprehensible system. Well, the internet was designed with the assumption that it was a community of people that knew each other that would, that would use it. Well, now it's a global community that has good guys on it and bad guys on it and people with different agendas. And we don't really know the consequences of uh, what it's become. Nobody can draw, for instance, a circuit diagram of what the internet is now because it's grown so large and it's so complex. People can only kind of guess at what the wiring diagram is. They can only guess how many people are using it. And so it has emergent properties that were not designed into it. So it becomes more like the economy is a great example. The economy is built up of transactions that people understand, but even the greatest economy can't you know, predict the economy in general and whether there's going to be a recession or something like that. And I think more and more our technological artifacts are becoming like that. They're having these emergent properties. So even the world's greatest expert on the internet doesn't really know what the internet is right now because it's different than what it was a few hours ago. So if we decided we wanted to build a system separate from the internet and it was very robust, we could do that. It's technically understood how to do it. The big problem is most people don't think of doing it because the internet seems to be working so well. So nobody wants to you know, think about what plan B is when plan A is really working. Uh, so it's really just a matter of deciding to do it to realize it can fail. Um, but I think people are beginning to understand we've, some of these spectacular failures we've had, for instance, of the banking system. Um, that people realize maybe we do need some simpler backup systems that are within the range of human understanding to back up these, these giant emergent systems that have fantastic capabilities, but we don't really quite understand the ways that they might fail. It's easy to forget that we got along perfectly well without the internet only a few decades ago. And so it is possible to run society without it. Um, we've just gotten into some bad habits of depending on it. Um, but pretty much everything we need to run society could be done in ways that didn't depend on it. So I think the trick is to imagine what are the functions we're really going to want if it's down for a little while. Um, for example, people will want to contact family members and get a message or otherwise there'll be a sense of panic. Um, but you know, they don't have to have high bandwidth video connections with them, probably just a little note, I'm okay. A text message would be okay. So I think thinking through those use cases of what are the backups uh, is going to be important. But it, it, it used to be that the ham radio operators were our backups, but these days even the ham radio operators are using internet protocol for the ham radio uh, connections. So we really, I think, need to be very explicit about designing a technology and a communication system that really has nothing to do with the internet, even for administrative and maintenance purposes. Um, and that's not something that will happen naturally by itself. The government could be a good customer uh, because the government is one of the services that we would like to keep running in an emergency, obviously. I mean, we'd like to have food delivered, we'd like to have gas 
uh, in, at the gas station, uh, but we would also like to have government services like police and fire. Uh, so if the government just announced that it would be a customer of such a thing, I'm sure private enterprise would, would build it. It's not that difficult because we have a lot of, we already have the fibers in the ground and we have the spectrum allocated for things like this. Uh, it's really just a matter of deciding to do it. And I think we will decide to do it. I think we'll fix this problem. So it's nice to be able to talk about a problem I think is going to get fixed.